Hello everyone and welcome to another timeless video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at Hollow One NT deck in timeless format. Basically, the plan for this deck is to get your Hollow Ones out on turn two, and you do that by playing the Faithless Looting on turn two, making the Hollow One only cost one. But if you also have an Artillery Enthusiast with the Ox of Agnos in your hand, you could even discard the Ox to the Artillery Enthusiast, tutoring for a Hollow One into your hand so that you can play two copies of the Hollow One on the same turn, since now these cards are zero mana cards. But what's really sick is the Artillery Enthusiast actually gives menace to any modified creature. And Inti in this deck makes creatures into a modified creature, meaning that they have a plus one plus one counter in this case. So the Artillery Enthusiast is going to give menace to the creatures, while the NT is going to give plus one plus one counters and trample onto these creatures. And meanwhile, all of this is going on. We also do have the Blood Gas and the Blazing Rootwalla paired up with the Goblin Bombardment. So I'm excited to see how this deck turns out in an Orcish Bowmaster format, since generally Faithless Looting isn't very good versus an Orcish Bowmaster. So having said that, we're going to jump into some Timeless Best of 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. Oh god. Do we keep this? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try keeping it. Okay, black. So we have to faithless looting first. So that we don't get Orcish Bowmaster. Oh wow. Huh. Interesting. Now that is Double interesting, isn't it? Hollow one. I don't think we can play it. I don't think we can actually fake the suiting. Oh, wow. Okay. So we can get it out here if we wanted to. So let's do that. Bolt. I feel like the bombardment would be will become pretty nice later. I don't think I need another faithless looting. I feel like I want to keep this land right. These are gonna become a four four, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, maybe lightning bolt. I guess Orcish Bowmaster Lightning Bolt does kill it. Maybe it is Bombardment. Let's go Hollow One. I'm not sure if this deck would be playing a Blood Moon main deck. It's it's a possibility. If so, I should have grabbed the Swamp there instead of a Blood Crypt. Also, this... Okay, so they have a Lightning Bolt. Sure. So we'll, we'll do the same. Oh, interesting. So I can go. I, I think I'll just go Bowmaster plus Lightning Bolt here. Yeah, let, let's just kill it. Because I'm pretty sure this list plays a Deadly Dispute. I'll just take the 4 here. Another Bowmaster. Kind of annoying. Yeah, that's pretty annoying.
Ragavan. Nice. This guy can't block, so we're just attacking. I don't think they can attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I think we just pass. Unholy heat. Okay, short. Ooh, that is a card. That is a card. Only called Anvil? What? That's so weird. Yeah, why, why didn't they attack? Um... So... That is a Thopter. I think I'm just going to... I have to try to get some other permanents or something. Yeah, look, they play Deadly Dispute. Hmm. It's unfortunate this is our first game. Because they're also trying to create a 4-4, four four. we're also trying to put a 4-4 four four as well. But in the long term, Retro is a little bit better. Another NT. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, Hollow One. It's a nice blocker. I think we're dead though, right? So I go to three. They make a flyer. Um, they can ping me twice with the only only call ten bowl. So yeah, we're, we're dead. What? Unless, I mean, they didn't make a second flyer there. Perhaps there is a chance. Okay, that's a good sign. If they're attacking, that means they don't have a lightning bolt. Oh, please. Please. Let there be justice. They missed lethal. It's only fair. Let there be justice. They're saying nice. I don't know what that means. What are they? Why are they saying nice? Okay. Oh my god. There is justice. So we could have lost, right? 
they had a flyer and um, a ground servo. They could have made it into a one one, so they had they so they could have had double flyer. And then if they pinged twice with the anvil, I would have been dead since I was at four. Okay, so molten collapse, godlike, needle, godlike. I think that's about it. Do I want some fatal pushes? Mmm, not really. So I guess I'll just get rid of like a blazing root walla and like a ghast and maybe a bombardment. Maybe two ghast. Oh baby. It's a very similar looking hand. Boundary again. They have a stronger start this time with double ornithopter. Oh, please. Pretty insane. I'm gonna lead with the Chandler because their start is just too insane. Unless I can actually leverage off this Chandler and try to win with um, high rolling with the Faithless Looting. I don't see myself winning this game, so... Alright. Come on, deck. You can do it. I need to land here. Land me. Very nice. So I need to discard a Blazing Ruwala. And... This is my only bombardment though. Is it the Chowler? Might be. Because I need the Bowmast Bowmaster since um we saw that they have a bunch of deadly disputes. So this is a little bit tough. They have double four fours. I think I need to trade one of them. I think I do need to block this. And potentially they shocked. Like, what does that mean? So they have a fatal push plus Activation. I think that's exactly what it is. I'm pretty sure. We'll just pass. Okay, so they bluffed. Sure. Okay, I'm just going to jam double Chandler here, maybe? Actually, I'm, I'm going to uh, Bombardment. I think that's a little bit more future-proof. And I'm going to be dealing more damage in the future. Hmm. I can't ping this. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Because now I can ping this. I'm not going to be cracking this in case of a Bowmaster draw. 
No thank you. No thank you. So... I think I'm just gonna be attacking with the Bowmaster? This is actually kind of weird. Does this matter? How much does this matter? I don't think this matters. Because unless they can kill the Bowmaster here, I mean the Dragon Ray Chandler here, aren't they just dead? Wait, they're not gonna deadly dispute, right? No way. Okay, we won then. So full control. You want to do that with the uh, Goblin Bombardment. I'll leave one of them back for blocking, chump blocking the 4-4. Okay, looks like they concede that they couldn't get through my bubble bombardment. Nice! Okay. Surprising win, definitely. Wow. Okay, we're missing Faithless Looting. I think it's the bobble. Wow. You know... Ask and you shall receive, right? I am a bit worried about the Bowmaster coming down. We might actually need... Might actually have to pass a turn here. There we go. Easy game. Um, I guess we don't really have to worry about dying anytime soon, so I'm just going to fetch a shock. Oh, it's a Rakdos. Well, that's fine. Well, it wasn't technically fine, but here it is. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh Wow. That is most impressive. Wow. Probably should have attacked first before doing this, but it's fine.
That is a lot of hollow ones. I mean, you gotta try to draw something, right? Even though there is a bowmaster, like, I don't think you're beating three hollow ones. GG's. So, I'm pretty sure they're going to sideboard out a Blood Moon. Almost guaranteed? Hmm... It's a Rakdos deck. It probably plays like... One Ring, I wanna say. I think Pithing Needle kinda gets the job done. Probably? I'll like sideboard out some Blood Gas versus like... Some graveyard hate. I want a copy of a molten collapse. Maybe instead of a blazing root walla. Okay. Hmm. I mean, there is a saying: always bolt the bird. What do you think? Fine. Fine. I think I'm gonna go empty first. I wonder if it's actually it was actually a Jun deck. Hmm. I didn't want to go with Orkish Bowmaster this turn because if I don't play Orkish Bowmaster, they're not going to spend mana to Orkish Bowmaster, right? So I just don't think there's any point. Bubble Bubble. a lot of lands. Let's fix our top of our deck. Blazing Root Walla. Not really that good. Yeah, I think I'm going to fetch something else. Kind of flooding here a bit. Okay, so they do play the one ring. Doing this to prevent them from drawing a card. We are really flooding right now. Very much so. Ox. I am so sad. I guess there was no way to actually... Yeah, there was no way. Hollow one. I'll discard this, I'll discard that. Bowmaster now. I think 
we flooded a little bit too much this game. Right? We drew... We saw top 18 cards where... 9 of them were lands. I mean, considering that... We're doing decent, I guess. Bubbles, not gonna do anything. That's another land. Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, this this one's probably over, but yeah, it, it doesn't really help the fact that we we saw half our land base. Seems bad. Molten Collapse. That's fine. Yeah, we need we needed a pretty explosive start. Um we were a bit short. So let's I mean, we didn't see Pitting Needle. I think our sideboard was okay. It's just we never really drew into... We just flooded, right? This hand... I'm not sure. It's too risky. Yeah, it, it's too risky. Uh, any faithless lootings? Question mark? I'm... I really hate to do this. But I have to flash in my Orcish Bowmaster. Otherwise, it's just gonna be too slow, right? Opponent stuck on lands. 
This hollow one currently costs too much mana. Oh, we knew that. Slowly losing ground. Yeah. Um, unfortunate. We didn't see our faithless looting. I, I think the, the difference between this game and... I mean, the second game we flooded. Third game, we haven't seen a single faithless looting. I guess that is it for this game. GG's. This is a mulligan, right? I think something like this. Okay, so they're on Belcher. We'll keep that one. Dark Ritual. That is kind of scary. Can I get a Faithless Looting, please? In T. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to be able to race them fast enough since they already have a dark ritual oh they already have it darn that was a really insane hand That was insane. Okay. That was... I mean, I played Belcher myself, but... I could never get a hand like that. That's insane. That is completely off the chart. How fast they combo there. What am I supposed to do? I just have these. Like, they have a ley, ley line of Sanctity. So, like, Thoughtseize isn't really going to be that great either. I, I guess, I mean, we do have uh, just ways to just kind of discard them. I feel like uh, Blazing Root Walla is kind of important. We'll go down on some, like, Enthusiast and a copy of a Bloodgast. Mm. Not particularly fond of this hand if they have a Sanctity like that. That sucks. That sucks a lot. At least we got a really fast start. So, Ox and a Thought Seas. Play the Hollow One. Mmm, I guess I just play this out now. Okay, let's just play it out now. What are, we, what are we missing? Instant speed? So I can just lightning bolt my holo, uh, holo one. And they are almost dead. 
6, 10, 11, 12. We don't have any legendaries. I mean, this should be it. Because they have to shock themselves, right? And channel doesn't work here. That's still not enough. Wow, calling the ritual. Demonic tutor. Okay, so... I don't know how many copies of Calling Ritual they play, but definitely a card. Definitely a card. Yeah, I mean, let's just let it rip again. Oof. I'm not sure if I can keep this. Can I keep it? Chance of us drawing a land is 32%, but we're we're um we're on the draw, so we have more looks at it. Okay, nice. I think we just hit thing needle. Then we play the NT. Oh, wow. No land, though. There's the land. Okay, this turn is going to be absolutely insane. Is it not? So... I don't know. Do they have another calling ritual? Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I already have lethal. So I guess we're just going to bolt. So that does go to the graveyard. Currently I have lethal. Right? I don't I don't need to play this and then get calling ritual. They're going for a draw into a bauble. Looks at their top of their deck. Plays the land. I think it should be over. But we'll see. Bowmaster top deck. GG. Okay. So, I mean, the deck was fast enough to beat them. Um, I think the Pithing Needle really came in handy. Makes me want to go up on Pithing Needle, honestly. Because even against the ring matchup, it would have been actually pretty good. 
Okay. Um, let's look at our... Wow, another land. I think I might just... I'm just going to run out the Blazing Rawala. Might, like, bait them into Bowmastering. Forest. Red. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's like a land destruction deck. Usually when you see something like this, it's probably like a land destruction. Because they're really trying to ramp into a third mana. Lotus. Kind of insane. Grabbing on land. Okay. We know their deck now. Pretty well. Hello? Any spells? What's this? What's going on here? I missed that on damage. Whoops. That might be relevant. I just have a bunch of 1-1s, one -ones, unfortunately. Okay, that is actually pretty gas, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Holy Goblin Bombardment. That is so good. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, just attack with that 2 2. Karn. I have faced worse than the likes of you. You will not threaten this world. So do we just win? They gain life though, so they're at 14. They block the ox. They take four. Five six. Seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. Oh they grabbed a haywire mine. What? That's kind of insane. That's kind of annoying. Blood gassed. So if they want to use the Haywire Might to get rid of the Goblin Bombardment, okay, they did not. Interesting. Block, so they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They're at 2? That's not enough. That is not enough. 
I guess this is what we need to do now. I, I don't know what Karn's gonna grab. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. I'm not sure if um, the Dragon Rage Chandler is gonna be that useful with the um, cloth this up. If I can get like a Faithless Suiting, it would be immensely helpful. Okay, another Utopia Sprawl. Into a Karn. Probably just buying time. My purpose is greater than myself. Four, five, six, seven. A9, 10, 11. They're dead. Okay. So, they're a Blood Moon deck. They probably play like Land Destruction as well. Cloth is so annoying. How good is a Molten Collapse against them? Against them? Is it really that good? I think Fatal Push is a lot better. Maybe a Thought Seize as well. Go down on a copy of a Bloodgast. Bombardment. Um, maybe a copy of a Blazing Root Walla. I don't know how good Orcish Bowmaster is, but if they play like Pyromancers and stuff, has to be good, right? Yeah, I don't know about the Thought Seize. Or maybe a Fatal Push and just have Thought Seize. It's an easy keep. Very, very easy. Utopia Sprawl. I think I'm just going to get the blood gas into my graveyard. Into a bombardment. Oh my god, please. Why are they so good at drawing Clothus? I don't know how many copies they play. I mean, it can't be more than like one or two copies, right? Surely not. Spaceless looting. Oh wow. But I have to give them Shaman though this turn. That's kind of upsetting. Yeah, well, we have to give them a Shaman. I guess if they want to attack. Do I block? Even though they could have a bolt? I guess Clothus actually doesn't really line up against the blood gas too much. This one says exile target non-creature so they can't actually exile the hollow, not, um, hollow one. Which is pretty good. Let's just pass. Corn. I will fight with Corn. My grief fuels my mission. 
What did they grab? They might be dead. Boat? Another hollow one. Why do people like saying nice so much? What's going on here? Yeah, I don't think I had lethal, even if I sacrificed the blood gas multiple times, just because of the haywire get gaining them life. So there's the boat. Another blood gas. I think that does it. GG's. Alright, so we played five games with this deck. We went three and two. A little bit disappointing. Um, um, two of the games that I've lost were to a flood. And in, in this format, like if you flood here, it's just, it's really hard to recover. Just because the power level of the format is just so high. Otherwise, if you draw the nuts, it can be incredibly fast. You've seen from that one game versus the Belcher, um, I ha I was able to get like two hollow ones out um, very early. We didn't even see like the, um, the complete nuts, like um, Faithless looting into an artillery enthusiast and getting like double hollow ones down. Like that is incredible. But sometimes the hollow one can be a little bit clunky, especially when my opponent draws like three bowmasters in their top 10 in which case like the fakeless looting just becomes like just unplayable that's why we play the goblin bombardment um so that we can loop with the blood gas to kill the orcish bowmasters and we have four copies of uh, lightning bolts here and four copies of orcish bowmaster so with this package it shouldn't be a problem theoretically but uh, um somehow you dodge all these and opponent suddenly has like three bowmasters on the battlefield then all the one's gonna be really really bad but overall i think the deck was great i think the artillery enthusiast was good getting rid of an ox of agonos into getting a hollow one that's also really nice and i think the blazing rowalla even though this is a bowmaster format if this is the card that they're getting rid of instead of orcish bowmaster that's great right and i think in a deck like this like a free card like this that you can ditch it to is pretty important although like blazing ruwala by its is not the most amazing card but it can definitely aggro somebody down if left unchecked and it just has too much synergy with um the faithless looting so that's why we're playing four copies of it here so yeah that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the video so far and if you did as always leave a like comment below subscribe and i'll see you guys later Bye bye